and welcome back to Geisley Presents Fun Fish Facts with Steve Blake. Today, we're going to be looking at this fish here, the red drum, not red rum. And this fish has a lot of other names in terms of, it's known as the spot tail and the red bass, the channel bass, and even just the red fish. Again, thanks Danny for that. Uh, what we can look at too is that these fish are very, very uh, tolerant fish. They're, they last uh, up to 40 years old. They can live in a wide variety of uh, different salinities and uh, water temperatures. So you'll usually find them near the shore and uh, estuaries. And when you look at the red drum, you'll see that its tail has, usually has a black spot on it or a couple black spots. And these are referred to as eye spots. And what they're used for is to basically fool or intimidate predators into thinking that the, uh, the tail is actually the head of the animal. So that's in case a predator or something grabs a hold of this fish, it's going to actually grab something that's non-vital. So usually the, uh, the tail spots and the eye spots are toward the caudal end of the, of the animal and away from the head. We see this a lot in nature too, in terms of moths and butterflies. Their wings will have the big eye spots so they look bigger to the predators. If you look at uh, some crabs, they'll have the eye spots more toward the caudal end. Again, away from their head so if something grabs them they won't uh it's something too vital and again when you look at uh caterpillars right they've got some like really big eye spots they have tiny little eyes in the front of their body but yet they've got these big eye spots again to intimidate and confuse predators now speaking of predators they can also have eye spots if you look at the tiger the tiger when he goes to drink it will turn its ears around to have like eye spots again to, uh, to again confuse other predators and stuff like that. And again, you can see that uh, we have all of them here. These ones, as they're drinking, they've got their ears flipped around. These two little ones have not learned that yet. Uh, so hopefully they will soon. Again, this is not fun facts about tigers at all. We're talking about the red drum. And let's get to our next part of it. Uh, fishing for these guys. So a red drum is a really great uh, sports fish in, in terms of that, which you'll see that, again, if you look where they're at, they're mostly on the East Coast, and they're really always like in shallow waters. Because they can handle so much different in temperature and salinity, they're found in estuaries, and uh, again, really more in, in the flats, the grassy flats and stuff like that. So we want to catch this fish. It's going to basically, they almost grab anything. So as you can see even from this image here, that they're always pointing down. They're always like, like in the, um, in the mud and the sand and stuff, looking for crabs and stuff to eat. So therefore, any kind of lightly weighted nymph will be great, kind of even like a, uh, a spoon fly or something like that, kind of hopping along the grass and stuff, they are gonna grab it. So that's you're gonna want something like that uh, in, in terms. And the other big question is, again, the really fun fact is, why are these called uh, rum fish? The red drums for a reason uh, is because of when they are, uh, when they're spawning, the, uh, the males will basically take their, uh, you'll see the white uh, graphic here, and that's their swim bladder. They'll basically vibrate their muscles against the swim bladder, making the drumming noise and to uh, attract the females like that. So this is definitely one, uh, one fish you want to basically swipe uh, to, the, to the right on. So this is fantastic. So again, it's a match. This is a wrap. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.